Kia ora, good evening. Police have not been able to confirm whether firearms were stolen in a ram raid on Gun City in Christchurch. They are still hunting for four offenders who drove into the store several times before taking a number of items. Nearby businesses say they're terrified and are adding to the voices calling on the government to get tougher on crime. Juliet Speedy reports. The Gun City Superstore cleaning up after an overnight ram raid. Seeing it happen right on your doorstep is, is, is quite terrifying. Um, there's a two cars, there's one, he's coming to ram it. Footage from inside Jeremy Joseph's neighbouring business shows around 2.30 this morning. The Papua Nui store was reversed into several times in a stolen car. About four or if not five people actually jump out of the various cars and start to get to work into Gun City and taking stuff out of it. And then they left the one car that they used to ram in front of our shop and they uh, took off in a getaway car. Police still can't confirm what was stolen from the shop, which stocks a range of high-powered firearms and ammunition. We've been seeing it in dairy shops and, and, and that, which is you could say, well, yes. Now when it starts getting to guns, you start to worry, wonder what is the motive here? Where is this going to end? Police say they're now hunting for four offenders. They arrived in a stolen green Mazda Demio registration double DF311 and left in a black Subaru Forester registration LCY783. Gun City is owned by David Tipple, who declined an interview today. Another burglary happened at a sports shop in the Palms shopping centre just after five this morning. Police say three men used mallets to gain entry and are still investigating whether the two are linked. It's getting more and more and more regular, you know, and the, the, the level of violence seems to be escalating. Just this week, 80 businesses throughout Christchurch wrote to the government concerned about the rise in violence and crime. There's no repercussions for anybody that commits a crime. I'm looking at the shop right opposite here over there. It'll happen again. These kids are getting away with it because of the age, and I don't think that that's right. As soon as those consequences start getting heavier and, and there are real penalties, real sort of actions for people who partake in this, people will start to think twice. Another community on edge and more pressure on lawmakers. OK, Juliet, what is the latest from the police? Well, Mike, police say they are aware there is concern around this event involving firearms and say they are pursuing a number of leads to locate these offenders and any items they took. They're also asking for anyone who was driving around the Cranford Street area in Papua Nui at around 2.30 this morning who may have dash cam vision of the two vehicles involved in this ram raid to review that vision and then come forward to police if they can at all help in this investigation. But the fact remains, Mike, that these four offenders and unknown firearms remain at large. Juliet Speedy live at the Christchurch Police Station. Thanks for the update.